Meet Gorgar. <laughs> Meet Gorgar. Meet Gorgar. Hey everybody. Uh, this is Williams Gorgar. I mentioned it in a previous video where I talked about trying to fix the displays on it. And as you see, the displays are working. Now I have to say this video started out a lot differently. Originally I had made a video where I was going to show how great it was playing. And what happened was uh, there was a problem with the circuit boards. So I'm going to take a minute and cut right here and go back to that because this is interesting on um, circuit board repair and what you need to look out for for these machines. So through the magic of video editing, here's a couple weeks ago. Also, you just need to look at me. Okay, we're looking. We're looking we're rolling. Uh, so, interesting story here. I made a video of this that I was going to show how great this machine was. And of course, when I went to film the gameplay, the machine wasn't working. So, I uh, John's Arcade has a video out that's really good. Any of you guys that work on these older System 3 through 7s, where he's gone through and he's reflown the solder on all of the, the headers here. Well, I know there's a problem with this header. The problem is the ball drains and uh, it's not registering on the switches. And the switch is fine. What we ended up finding out was that there's a problem right here. Uh, my good friend seems to think it's the connector, but I tried this connector in every position, couldn't get it to work, so I'm really thinking that there's a crack in the solder here. So I'm going to pull this out and reflow the solder on all of these uh, while it's out. And you see I've already got it all unhooked, so I will uh, kind of splice the video play and the previous video, you know, all that stuff. I'm babbling now. Anyhow, we'll make a video out of all this, but we're going to fix this. Okay, so here's the board set. I've got it out and I've got it turned over. And um, right up here, this is the back side of those, that, the, the pins right there, the headers. So what I found is if we zoom in, this camera will show it very well. They're actually cracked really pretty badly. I mean, you can see that right there. That's a huge gap. So I'm not getting contact. And we found as we went down the line, there's actually several others that are in the same condition. They're all just starting to crack from the heat. Not all of them, but most of them are really bad. So this may fix my problem with the displays as well. So I'm going to eat some dinner and then I'm going to sit down and do some solder work. In the meantime, uh, what, you know, there's one other thing I need to mention here. In John's arcade uh, video that he made regarding the reflow of these, he, he briefly mentioned a little bit this connector here. And I want to take a minute to mention that. If you get one of these old games, this this connector that connects this board and this board together is the weak point, and it's notoriously so. Um, one of the big things that you have done is you, is you reflow all of these. Um, it's very important. If you're ever doing any reflow work on one of these board sets, the System 3 through 7 uh, Williams, you want to make sure that you reflow that as well. That's, that is the weak point, the bad point, and um, in retrospect, it wasn't really a great design. When you go to the newer boards that are out there, they're either all in one boards or they're the boards that uh, they have available at uh, Pinball PCB, which is where I, I mentioned that uh, in the video talking about the power board I have. Um, anyhow, their board set is really nice because it actually has this same pin configuration on it so you can use it with your old boards, but when you have both of their 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 boards, the MPU and the driver board together, there's actually a ribbon cable that will connect them so this is really out of, you know, out of the picture at that point and no longer a problem. Anyhow, you do want to make sure that you reflow solder on these if you're ever having problems. Also, one quick fix for those of you that don't know this already, if you get one of these machines, you're having weird problems, you want to pull the boards out, you want to separate these two boards from each other and it's, they're, they're stuck pretty tight but you need to work that apart and then put it back together. Uh, reason for that is these pins get dirty, they get oxidized from the heat and everything else. And by doing that, you effectively clean those pins. And that can a lot of times uh, completely fix a machine. So, um, 
the problem with the displays was not corrected by the resolder work that I did. Instead, it's been long enough that we actually have brand new pin score LED displays in there. They look gorgeous, they work perfect, and we are happy, happy, happy. Everything on this machine is now working properly. Uh, I just actually finished rewiring everything in the coin door so that all the switches work. It's got a brand new lock in it. Uh, briefly, let me just show this. It does have some battle scars on the side. I don't know if you can really see them very well. Let's see if I can zoom in. Uh, somebody decided they needed to leave their own personal mark on this at some point. So I still have to fix that. Uh, let's all hail Bondo. And, uh, you know, just do a little bit of retouch on the cabinet. And I think I can make this looking awesome again. So we're going to take a minute and we are going to show Gorgar in play. Uh, you want to go ahead and kill the lights? We'll do it uh, lights out. Because lights out is so... Hey, before we do it, let me just say real quick. This is not in pristine condition, but it's in really good condition. It's had a couple retouches in the past by somebody. But, you know, they did a fair job. And nothing really stands out. Inserts are a little faded. Eventually I'll get LEDs back in behind there. Uh, just a reminder, this was the first talking pinball machine and has seven words that it says. Uh, the last thing we have to do for it, though, is we are going to replace the back glass. So go ahead and kill the lights and uh, give it some gameplay. I'll stand over here. Round with the lights on. <laughs> All right. Let's have a lights on round. See if that helps. No, I can do it with the lights off. I want to see it with the lights on though. All right, one more round, lights on. See if he can do it. Put it on two player by accident. the heartbeat gets faster and faster. To light the bumpers you have to knock down the three the three center targets, the drop down targets. Thank you. 
Back up there in the snake pit. You're on two player games, so you got extra balls to play with. <laughs> Ball three, player one. into there there's a magnet that grabs and holds the ball and Gorgar usually says something oh, it actually there's a button in there that it has to hit solid so you got to lock it up in there pretty good go. Gorgar. First talking pinball, Williams, 1979.